At the Nyakach Sub County Hospital Mochari, distraught relatives jostle each other. They are joined by curious members of the public who also want to gain entry into the room where 11 bodies are lying. In the crowd is Florence Otieno, whose daughter was among the last people to board the van. Judith alikuwa naenda kuchukua mahindi. Eni mgabia shara wa mahindi. Alikuwa naenda kuchukua mahindi. Alitoka usbui kitu kama sakumi. Umekuta kama amekufa pale. Florence said she also lost a couple of relatives in the grisly accident, which also claimed the life of a one-year-old child and a high school girl. Kijana moja amekimbishwa huko nyabondo. Alikuwa na watoto watatu. Sasa watoto wawili wamekufa nayo na kijana moja mtoto wake amekimbishwa nyabondo. Na msichana wetu huyo Judy amekufa na bibi ya ndugu yake pia amekufa hapa. Now most of the passengers who perished in the 7 a.m. accident were villagers who boarded the ill-fated matatu at a place known as Kolwen, less than 2 kilometers away from the scene of the accident. Gari ilikuwa na wanafunzi wawili, wasichana wawili ambapo moja amefariki ni ya shule ya Kiminini Girls kule upande ya Transoya. Moja ako hospitalini, alikuwa seriously injured. Wale wengine wote walikuwa ni wabiria kawaida. Ambapo pia tulikuwa na watoto wadogo wa miaka saba wengine ndio ikakuja hiyo idadi. Mnaweza kusikitika kwamba ni kwa nini watu wamekuwa wengi? Wengine ni watoto walikuwa na beba. Watu wote tunahesabu kama ni abiria. A driver alifariki katika hiyo ajali. There were a total of 18 passengers in the van at the time of the accident which police have described as the worst to have happened in the region this year. Three of the seven passengers who sustained serious injuries and rushed to Nyabondo Mission Hospital were pronounced dead on arrival. Ouko Kusa, NTV.